discovering your path in life discovering your path in life now again we're going to preach together today so let me get the mics by two sides one person on that side another person on this side so that I hear what you know about this the mics where they uh, you know church who said I must be the only one talking on a Sunday morning when preaching yeah. you remember that other Sunday we spoke and I could hear people people have serious ideas serious description of what we are talking about so again just be on your be on alert I'll be coming to you I wish Clinton if you protocol but English but this hour watch it delay now we talked about helping you discover your path in life helping you discover your path now let me do a just a recap very quickly uh, because I talked a lot we said there are people who are contributors there are some who are consumers GPT Rongai has no consumers can I hear the people who are contributors shout amen yeah that's why we must contribute in this preaching together you have consumed messages for a long time today we must work together Till remember, be ready. Number one, we say the shape. The word shape. Charles, you can try if you can put something, anything. S, spiritual gift. H, your heart motivation. Most of us have encountered uh, purpose driven life, purpose driven church by Rick Warren. Uh, let me tell you, God just helped Rick Warren many years back. To just by discover the path of his life requiring Saddleback Church in California and uh, he wrote this book tell you what that book sold of uh, maybe even over 2 million copies he made millions of dollars do you know what he did he asked the church uh, account how much have you paid me so far since the first day the church began he refunded everything to the church when you discover the path of your life when you discover the path of your life you become a blessing to nations I said you become a blessing to nations Oh, say amen like you believe God in a few days from now will begin to take you to nations in Jesus name. That God will bless you so that you can be a blessing to nations. Spiritual gift. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4 to 6 lists up to I think verse 14 down there. The whole chapter sort of Leads talks about spiritual gift we mentioned and I remember most of you were very correct then we came to heart your heart your heart this is where your emotions are expressed your enthusiasm is expressed your effectiveness in something is manifested because you have a heart for that thing you have a heart for that thing it is important you discover what your heart is motivated towards it. and we say there are two dimensions it could be towards something or people check check when you're walking on the street when you're watching TV, when you're reading and observing people's lives, what groups of people you get attracted to quickly could be their heart. Your heart is attracted to them and you need to do something towards them. Most of the time we will criticize and say, Hakuna mutu wa kusaidi hawa maskini ni wewe. it is you all these old people who is taking care of them it bothers you you are the one 
You have a passion and a heart for families. Parents. Eh? Parenting. You talk wherever you go. Everything you talk about, you must conclude with parenting. That is you. By the way, I am looking for someone here who has a passion to coordinate parenting courses. Did you know what we've missed as a church is training, serious training on parenting. How many agree with me? It's coming soon. Unajua sasa nikikosa mtu ni mimi na huyu tutawafundisha mambo ya parenting. And then discuss wale ambao wako mbele yangu, wale ambao wako karibu na mimi na wale wako nyuma. How far are you managing your children? Parenting is about children. Now, let's get to number three. The third one. So, spiritual gift, heart motivation. Please, I believe God willing on Sunday, and please, uh, Pauline, remind me, please, make sure you remind me this, David, that we prepare uh, a spiritual gift test analysis for everybody here. And then we will align you with your spiritual gift. You discover that you have about three key spiritual gifts. There could be five or even more. But you discover you're free. Out of the three, you pick the number one. Now you begin to activate and work on it. Number three, ability. Everybody say ability. I didn't hear you say ability. Now, let me explain before I come down to you. Please begin to think right now. What are these abilities, okay? Now, these are natural abilities you were born with. Begin to now get ready to tell me what are your natural abilities. Anza kukufikiria na hakuna mtu anatoka nje bwana asifiwe. Haya natural abilities that you were born with. Wacha tuanze na hapa. Pastor, what are your natural? Just give us one. Ni nyingi. Singing. Si tunakubaliana? Amesema singing things that attracted me to you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Singing. She has sung before the president, Ule Moi. Mimi at a gate, yes, that house, I've never. I just pass. Where the microphone? Okay. Uh-huh. Please, wake up. and no, 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 chap, chap. Let's start. Give us your natural ability, one. Running. Huh? Running. Running. Yeah. yeah. It was just for two. Yeah. Jack Tone. The dancing. Aha. <laughs> okay. Dancing. We look forward. We look forward. We look forward. Ah, Dorothy, right? What's your natural ability? Counseling. Hmm? Counseling. Wow. Look at that. Never let Pastor Nangangana happen. Dancing. Dancing. Where is Steve? <laughs> dancing. Uh-huh. Singing. Let me hear from this is who is Valentine? You. Singing. Singing. What Mariga? Singing. Ah. Eric. Soccer. Soccer. What was soccer? Ata wa mejipanga. Tony ni najua. Let's hear from Tony. What's your natural ability? What are you good in, sir? Ata wakona microphone. Go ahead. Quickly, quickly. Ah, preaching. Preaching. Did I hear preaching? <laughs> okay. Ah. Wapi Rachel? Next youth Sunday. Anza kuandaa ujumbe sawa. Ah, Rachel, what ah, jo, what are you good in naturally? Soccer. 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 Jo, you play football. Wow. Public speaking. Public speaking. Yeah. What are you good in? What are you good in, Paul? Naturally. Service. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now I can tell everybody's alert, okay? Let's move. Now, there are people, these are things you are born with naturally. Some people are good with the use of verbal words. Speaking. You've just heard there's someone who is good in public speaking. They say, this kind of people, they were born speaking. Not they were born to speak. They were born speaking. They, have you ever met people who you have to tell them, because they just speak and speak. They are good in that. Singing is a natural ability. Uh, playing instruments, musical instruments. There are people I know here who didn't have to go to a music class, but they are classic musical players. Why? It's a natural ability. What we're kama sisi to make kwa keyboard baka una una yani miaka na miaka ukobado tu kwa kisi. You know kisi. Mengine amju kisi. Some people are very sportish. So mask here. Spotish. You know, they are easy to move their body. They are excellent in physical coordination. They can easily turn around the ball. I can see some pictures. Thank you, sir. You know, this guy. All those, those are natural abilities that God has given to humanity. Each one of us, each one of us here has a natural ability. In fact, let me say this. You have natural abilities. Ninyingi. Natural abilities. I'm naturally good in just organizing. I can organize anything. While in high school, I I organize a very bad thing. <laughs> I'm a good, I'm good in organizing. Nilikuwa form 3. Tukasema leo atu, atu so mi. Mimi do nilikuwa registrar. Nani yako hapa? Nani ayuko? Of course, we were just home for three weeks. The gift of organizing. Thank God I've turned it around. Now it brings glory to God. Amen. Your gift must bring glory to God. Shout amen. Some are good. Jackton in dancing. Abigail, I'm a dancing. While some of us Yani ku coordinate. When people are jumping up, you you're jumping down. In the in the in coordination, it's okay. Wachana nayo. When people are dancing, you stand. Just receive the song and the dance. I mean the music, as it were. Some of us in academics. Academics. Some of you are good in mathematics. Yeah. You know, some of us, you hated your mathematics teacher. The problem is not the teacher. She does him walimu ni kipawa, ni ability. Wee ukiwa tu, ukipewa tu 1 plus 10, 2 times 3, yo, nakumuka kala katebo, nyume ya kitabu. Wee ukosawa, lakini tukiingia kwa vitu zingine, statistics, logarithm, unazikumbuka? Eh, kale class, una switch off his ability. Some, uh, and your neighbor is just flowing in it. Unashindua. Ni mime ni rogo. Ah. Ni ability. Sciences. Some of you are good in sciences. You know. Uh, combined. Physics, biology, all that. Languages. Literature. You have, a, you have a love of just reading books. And you can do it and speak your flu you flow with the language very well you are quick to catch other languages you know i grew up in a cosmopolitan county and unfortunately no one taught us kikuyu because when we were born just in fact before i was born let me be specific we had a house nanny who was from uganda i've told you this before and so while well, my parents had work she was the first person that we encountered in language and speaking. Our schools were cosmopolitan and all that. And so, unfortunately. But my sisters try. They can put a sentence together. I have no passion for languages. French, But there are some people who are very good in it. You just flow in, you begin. At, and by the way, it's not too late to learn another, another language, okay? You can learn. You can learn another language. 
Some of you are good in art and design. Art and design. You just draw. Yaani nikikwambia unichore, haunitoi kitu kingine mbaya, unanitoa mimi tu. Vile niko. That's a gift. Lakini there are people here draw live alone. Just draw a car. You wonder is this is this a house or a car? Maana ajui kuchora haiko. I can draw. I can draw. I can draw. What are you good in? What are your natural abilities? Some of you it is to do with uh, what you call uh, cooking, food. You are talented in cooking. Hmm? You whatever you touch is just delicious. Nakumbuka story ya ugali. So whatever you touch is good. It just flows. But even that in cooking or food industry there is pastry, there is meat, there is vegetable, there is a vegetarian, there is seafood, there is all that wrong. There is one particular one you are good in. Eh? Unaweza pata mtu anapika hii eh anapika cha kama kwa mfano pilao vizuri wacha ifike kwa chapati. Ah ah mpaka unavunja kama ile ya Yesu. Nakumbuka ile ya Yesu. Alivunja hivi. It's just abilities. So don't kill yourself if you're not able to do some things. Kama chapati ni shida, usikwe una criticize hiyo kila wakati. Tafuta mtu akuje apike. Si tunataka tu chapati, bwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, the issue is chapati. That's what we want. Najua wazee wakisikia hiyo kitu ya chapati wanafurahi sana. Designing anything, you can design. By the way, let me say this. I when we're talking about natural abilities, there is a spirit that God must begin to release in us, the spirit of innovation. Everybody say innovation. Did you know that each one of us has the natural ability to innovate? You're like, mm. yeah, innovation. In your line of gifting and ability, yeah, in your line of natural ability, God has given you a gift of innovation. I decree and I release the spirit of innovation in your industry, in the marketplace, in the house of God. Receive it in Jesus name. Innovation. You see these little blocks, is it bow to kwapa? When people watch them on the screen, they ask me pastor, what are those blocks you've put there? How did you fix them? Some of you have never known. Let me talk a Siri today. These are just wooden blocks. About it costs us 400 shillings to make them. The only thing you wonder are these have they been screwed to the curtain? Can you think that's what that's your imagination? How are they hanging there? Hi. So I asked some guys, hang it. They went and bought innovation. They went and bought thread, the same color with the curtain. Hey, Jackson, we don't know what you that's okay. You make up a jack on a glue, kunauzi. That is innovation. I release the spirit of innovation in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. I watch it song as I Twenty of Biblia. Let's go to the Bible. I want to show you amazing things about ability. Let's settle this matter that it is God who has given you the ability that you have and abilities that you have. Some people, and I'm maybe mention this so that I don't leave you out, especially in this age we're living in today, some people are just talented in fixing gadgets or devices. Gadgets. Mimi, unless I've never tried, but I don't have the push. Hey, I see Leslie, Mariga, Akina Clinton, when they open this thing, they're just touching things. Me, I'm wondering, what are these things? What are they? I have no idea, but they do it. That is an ability from God. Let me give you uh, this. I encountered this week because we were in a training with a number of us. And so this man told us that one guy had the sister blind. The sister was blind, totally blind. But the uh, it's called Re, Re. Eh? 
retina. Something like that. As long as it can sense light when it is day or dark or flashlight, it means then that person can have an ability to see when aided with a gadget. So he came up, he innovated something called an e-sight. At your own time, you can Google on YouTube. E-sight. You can even get it just right away. Just e-sight. You can get it. Now he made an e-sight like the 3D thing that you put on and you play games. How many have tried the 3D? Me have ever tried. And I fell down on the ground because it was a Laura Costa, you know? Nikaona ni mimi ni kukufa ni nakufa. Na bahati mbaya tulikuwa na mariga aki mariga na muzi. Yo story ni kumbia kukusa hungu. I fell. Eastside. He gave it. Pastor. I don't like those things of what wana teremuka. He gave it to his sister. And the sister in 20 years was in 20 years time he was able to see the brother. Innovation. I feel like releasing that spirit over your life today. In Jesus name. At your workplace what will take you places is the spirit of innovation. Thank you sir. That's it. That's it. This thing when it came out in the US this guy was just a simple nobody in the US. The first gadget was 10,000 US dollars. 10,000 US dollars. He's a billionaire. Now, now, currently, in the US, is 6,000 US dollars. How much is that in Kenya shillings? 700,000. We have billionaires and millionaires here. It's just that's activating your ability in an innovative way. You become a billionaire for the kingdom purposes in Jesus' name. Empesa is a product of innovation ability. It's changing the world. It is a worldwide uh, electronic trans, you know, transaction mode that other countries are borrowing from. This thing I'm talking about here can change your lives forevermore. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. This thing I'm talking about here, by the way, listen to me. You can be a nobody. Right now, no one knows you. You don't know anything. But as God makes you to discover your God-given abilities innovatively, things will change fast in your life in Jesus' name. I pray that it be so in your life. Atakanisani, let's be innovative how we do things. Hey, Genesis chapter 4, verse 19 to 22. Genesis chapter 4, verse 19 to 22. Let me read quickly because of time. Genesis 4, 19 to 22. This is what the Bible says. Then Lamech, Lamech sorry, took for himself two wives. The name of one was Adam, and the name of the second was Zilhar. And Adam bore Jabal. Everybody say Jabal. That's a good name for your son. Say Jabal. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and livestock. Mark that. This is the word of the Lord. The Bible says uh, Ada and Lamech, they got a son who dwelt in tents and livestock. Let's move on. His brother's name was Jubal. Everybody say Jubal. I can't hear you. I'm far away. Say Jubal. Jubal. He was the father. Look at the description. He was the father. The head of all those who play what? Ah, talk to me. Who play what? Harp and flute. Eh. Listen. And for Zilha, she bore to Balkan. Everybody say to Balkan. Say to Balkan. Hey, okay? You can name your son that name. To Balkan. Ocheng. Something like that. Okay? An instructor of every what? Talk to me. Craftsman in what? 
bronze and iron ability hapo ujaona gold hakuna silver particularly these guys their father mother bore son called tubal cain an instructor say after me an instructor ah people who make a difference in their world are instructors leaders fathers people who are ahead hmm. they're not just anybody of every craftsman in bronze listen to the next one i like the next tuseme pamoja 1 2 3 go and uh, uh, okay 1 2 read with some ability 1 2 3 and the sister of tubalcain was nama now two amazing categories of family one his natural ability is living in tents dealing with livestock and it can be common to us it can be the same with us there are people in terms of agriculture you love livestock and not not just every livestock a particular one is your passion is your ability when you do it it just flourishes and then the other bible says the other guy was good in music and flute did you know there are families that are gifted in music how many know that yeah we know that i've seen that your grandfather was a choir master those days your he used to play the flute or the guitar your parents are leading and singing your children the same hmm what is the natural ability flowing in your generation of your family nipi some of us are gifted come from families that they have a hand for business making money making money genuinely you hear of their story 50 years ago up to today that they are all in families i mean in business sorry please turn with me quickly in exodus exodus 31 exodus 31 I didn't have it in my my notes but let me read with you quickly Exodus 31 verse 1 to 7 This is a time when God is giving uh Moses the the plan and the the the, the blueprint of the tabernacle look at the amazing amazing gifts that did and that God put together Aha uh-huh. verse 1 says let me read with you quickly it says this um So the Bible says, yeah, then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, let's go quickly, quickly. See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Ur, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah. Let's move. Maybe I can read so that I move quickly, friends. Thank you. Uh-huh. And I have filled him with the spirit of God. I have filled him with the spirit of God. Please mark that. That is important. In several things Number 1 let's preach together he has filled them with what number 1 is the spirit of the spirit of god did you know that in as much as you are born with a natural ability when god anoints that ability you rise up and you become a blessing to nations in jesus name nations Number 2 in what Oh let's go together in what wisdom number 3 understanding in the in knowledge and with all manner of workmanship Number 3 the bible is number 4 to design artistic works to make in gold silver and bronze in cutting jewels from settings in carving wood to work in all manner of workmanship ah in cutting jewels what are jewels see ni zile wadada wanavaa sio yeah have you ever thought of that the earrings the rings the braces necklaces jewels i will show you in a moment of time in chapter 32 of exodus how people gave their jewelry to be turned into uh this amazed me when i had this into items that 
God would come and sit on in the tabernacle. What a share of blessing you can be in God's presence. I'll explain. I'll explain. Verse 7, verse 6. And I indeed, I have appointed with him Aholiab, the son of Hashimak, of the tribe of Dan, and I have put wisdom in the hearts of the gifted artisan that they may make all I have commanded you, Moses. Verse 7, the tabernacle of meeting, the ark of the testimony, the mercy seat that is on it and all the furniture of the tabernacle and it goes on and on explaining that in other words it is people who gave their gold. Listen to me church this morning. Listen, this is key. It is people who gave their gold, their bronze and silver. There was a call in chapter 25 of Exodus bring those who are willing to give so that we can build the tabernacle of the Lord. People brought their jewelry. They brought their expensive gold, silver and bronze to be given to Moses for building the tabernacle so that what? When God visits, he can sit on the mercy seat can you imagine you and me using your ability god uses you with your contribution i contribute an earring you contribute a bracelet you contribute a necklace and this builds a place where god comes and dwells you are in an everlasting perm permanent covenant in the presence of god forever and ever because you gave because you gave that has changed how I am going to begin to give. Your ability, the gift of artisan, the gift of music must be used so that your gift and God's presence merged together comes out as a powerful thing for kingdom purposes in Jesus' name. Why should we push you? Why should we urge you and persuade you with nice words? You know you're the only one. We don't have any other one. Let me tell you, you are missing an opportunity to connect with God in his presence. In his presence. Let's read on. 35. No, let's read 32. Verse 20. No, no, it's not, no, no, no. Verse 2, verse. Yee, let me see. Exodus 32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be verse 20 if I'm not wrong. Mm. Okay, I'm looking for. Uh, okay, verse 16. Ten, 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 ten. Okay, where is that? I'm looking for that. Let me just read verse 15. This is what the Bible says. I'm looking for a place where they brought things. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. Okay, fine. I'll get it. I'll get it. Let's go to 35. 35. 35, verse 26. Hmm. Good. Let's read that together. Ah, verse 20. Verse 20. That's what I'm looking. 35, 20. Not 32, 20. 35, 20. 20. Let's read to, let me read for you. Listen to this. See how people gave their abilities what was precious to them for God. Verse 20 says, and all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of the Lord. Then everyone came whose heart was stirred up and everyone whose spirit I like that, whose spirit was willing and they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of the meeting. For all its service and holy garments. Let me explain. Maybe I'll take time to teach this another day. The furniture in the tabernacle were made by what people gave. The garments of the priest were made by what people gave. What you give 
determines the level of worship, the level of um, yeah, the level of God's power and presence in a congregation. Let's move on. They came, both men and women, as many as had a willing heart, and brought aha, uh -huh, there we go, and brought what? Earrings, nose rings, rings, necklaces, jewelry of gold of the Lord, and every man with whom was found purple, blue, purple, scarlet thread, fine linen, and goats, hair, red skin of rams, and badges, skins, brought them. Let me just throw a caution to the church. When it comes to kingdom, when it comes to God's business, when it comes to the church, which is the agent of kingdom businesses here on earth, and we ask you to give, my friend, give the best to God. Give the best to God. Wakati tunatoa chakula, tunatoa nguo zetu tunaleta, I never want to see an old cloth here to be given to someone because you are actually giving to God when you give to a poor person. Am I right? Sinisawa. Let me touch on this. When you give your offering and your tithe, what you give connects with God. These people, <laughs> this thing marveled me. Kale karinkako kadogo, wakati kalichemushwa, na hiyo mungine kachanganywa, it made the mercy seat of God. Can you imagine? <laughs> when God sits, he knows. Pastor Joshua gave. Charity gave. Diana gave. Your life will never be the same. Tuwache, kutoleaga vitu mungu, vitu mazo zimezeka, vitu mbaya, pesa kidogo. Unapima mungu, kila jimapili, unawana ka 50 mwaka mzima. You have, now that you've heard what I've said, now that, ata yiku ujumbe yangu leo, now that you've heard what I've said, change. Let me, let, you know, let me, let me tell you how all of us think. When you earn a salary, when you get your profit from a business, and you know, this week I have gotten 20,000 as my profit or my income for this month is 20,000. Your tithe is just 10% of 20,000. How much is that? Oh, talk to me. How much is that? Just 2,000 shillings. Ina kushinda kutoa, unajon kwa nini? Unasema, ni kitoa hii 2,000 tithe. Kuna kitu sitafanya. There's something I will not pay. It shows me how you have never known God. You have never understood his power. You have never connected. Hujaruusu pesa zako. Hujaruusu mali yako. Iungamanishe na nguvu za mungu katika maisha yako. I'm talking a testimony. She knows. There are times we pay loan. Tuko na loan. Kama wengine hapa onayo. And when our money comes, ninajua gari naitaji mafuta, school fees na nini, I just set aside tithe. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you how God supplies. Ninashindwa. Amen. Nashindwa. Unaona hii suti nimevaa hii. Hii suti Ni mutu wali nunulia. Buwana sifuwe. Hachi na kiatu. Sindio? Kiatu na suti. Mutu wali nunulia hapa. Na niko na ingine moto. Iko nyumbani. <laughs> Pia mshirika wali nunulia. Mimi siku. Nina amini. Naomba mungu na mwana mungu. Ah. Watu wa menezo hae na tusitutu wangu tutatu. Na itaji ingine. Lakini natoa. I am faithful in my giving. 
Ngoja tu. Verse that chapter 36 of Exodus. You know, I give my life examples. I don't lie to anyone. A young man this week asked me, Pastor, you, you, you operate like a very rich man. I said, I am. Yeah, I am. But I gave him my testimony. I gave him the sacrifices I have made for God. <laughs> Let me just give an example. I'm not bragging. I want to challenge some of you. Mana umepima mungu kwa mudamrefu na maliyako. Umepima mungu kwa mudamrefu kwa kumpatia kitu vitu kidogo kidogo. This watch I'm wearing, he, it's called a time mix. A young man I raised many years back went to the US. Kutembelea wazazi wake. He came and blessed me with this watch. So sometimes people might think Pastor Joshua eh anakuanga mazest ni Mungu anafanya kazi. That's what's my topic for today. Let's read Exodus 36 1 to 2. Now, let me pause. I know time has really gone, but let me pause and say this. From Exodus chapter 25. Read at your time. Jump. Come to Exodus chapter 30. Chapter 32, there is an opposite of the same story. These people, the same who gave for the tabernacle, while Moses was up in the mountain, chapter 32, they gave to make a calf. They did it the wrong way but they understood the power to use your ability to connect with the presence of God. Chapter 36 again inarudiwa tena. 35 imerudiwa. 36 the story of Bezalel imerudiwa tena in the same same way. Check. Check. Ndio hiyo. There are about four things that are critical in maximizing your natural ability. It is not enough just to have an ability and a skill. It's not enough. You need an anointing over your natural ability to be able to rise up and become a blessing to nations. You need wisdom from God. When you get wisdom, then you will understand. Listen to me church. Please listen to me very important. You will understand how to effectively use your natural ability. Utaelewa, utaitumia for the sake of kingdom purposes in the right way. If you don't understand your natural ability, you will use it or actually misuse it. Let me give an example of a secular singer, the late Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson together with his brothers, their parents were reverends in a church. Walikuwa pastor kama mimi. Michael Jackson. He would go on stage to rehearse for performance for eight hours practice. Michael Jackson he never understood he never got the spirit of God he missed the wisdom he never practiced his ability with understanding no wonder even while he's in the world singing yet the parents are Christians he was the best stage performer ever found in the world Michael Jackson Najua mnajifanya hati ya mumujui na unajua mnamuchua. Hata wengine wetu miaka ya zamani tulivaa kama yeye bwana asifiwe. Si ndio zoro? Tulivaa kama yeye, socks ya white ilitoka wapi ni Michael Jackson? 
na kalongi kamefika hapa, si ndio? Michael Jackson. Charity, am I right? Jesus ni watu wa kitambo, mimi si mtu wa sahi. I've been around for a while. And the Bible concludes with all manner of workmanship. In other words, you don't just have one ability. I will show you in a short while the number of estimated abilities you have as a human person. You'll be amazed. Let's move on as I count to a close time. Really. Let's jump. Let's jump to First Chronicles chapter 12. First Chronicles chapter 12. And I want someone to read for us. You still have the microphones? Yeah, let me get somebody to read. Ah, oh, I forgot that. Where's the mic? Steve, give it to who? Give it to uh, who is there? Uh, my sister, what's your name? Apo, apo, eh, good. Please, eh, you can read. Do you have a Bible? It's right here. Okay, let's go. Let's listen to her. Let's go. At the top, in the south, Now, these were the men who came to David at Ziklang while he was still a fugitive, fugitive from mm -hmm. Saul, the son of Ki yeah. Kish, and they were among the mighty men helpers in the war. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Verse, then continue. Armed with armed, bows. Armed with bows, mm -hmm. using both the right hand and the left mm -hmm. in hurling stones and shooting arrows with the bow. Mm -hmm. They were of Benjamin Saul's brethren. Okay, someone else can read. Give the next person the microphone. Someone can read verse number eight. Verse number eight of the same chapter, 12, First Chronicles. Yeah, someone else read. Yeah. Give someone else to you. Yeah, go ahead, Victor. Some Gadites joined David at the stronghold in the wilderness. Uh -huh. Mighty men of valor. Yeah. Men trained for battle. Correct. Who could handle shield and spear. Mm -hmm. Whose faces were like faces of lions ah, like and were as swift as gazelles on the mountains. In a, in a summary, David is running away from King Saul because his ability has made King Saul to be jealous of him. Kid Goliath and all that. Okay? And now, while in the caves of Ziklag, right there, by the way, the people who joined David were in thousands and thousands. Read. Read your Bible. First Corinthians chapter 12. Read it. In thousands. And they were not just anyone. The Bible talks about leaders of captains. Army trained. Let's go quickly now. One on one. Now, number one, the people that joined David in Ziklag were among mighty men of Vela. Everybody say mighty men of Vela. When you activate your ability, when you have an understanding, the anointing is upon your life, you become a mighty man or a woman of Vela. Hmm? What does that mean? With your gift, natural ability, you are brave. You are courageous. You can take any stage, any stage given to you because you understand your natural ability. It's the truth. Kama haujajielewa, unakuwa na woga. Sinu kweli? Aa, sinu kweli? Yeah. Opportunity kipatikana, na wea ujajua kabisa. Mimi neza imba, ama neza. Wimbo yangu ni gani, ni hizi za speed, ama zi pole pole. Which is mine? If you know your area, you become a man and a woman of valor. May I release that spirit upon us in Jesus' name. Number two, there were men trained for battle. Yeah? It is not enough just to have a skill or an ability. You must sharpen your skill. You must sharpen your skill to stay on the cutting edge. In our world today, you must cut. You must sharpen your ability. You're gifted in speaking. You're gifted in organizing. You're gifted in singing. Eh? Waimbaji, you're gifted in playing. You must grow daily in your ability. Sharpen your skin. These men that came to David, they were trained in battle. Listen, the Bible says, not just being trained like that. The Bible says, who could handle shield and a spear? With both hands. 
They were all multitask, uh, multi-skilled people. I know, we talk about expertise, where if you can do one thing in five years, you become, the same thing in five years, you become an expert, an expert on it. That's okay, but there must be other uh, abilities that contribute to your expertise as a person. And that's why, as a church, I pray that we will begin to learn and begin to challenge us on sharpening on our ability. And that's something I want to commit myself to. And I will tell you what I'm going to do. I want to change a program. I've already shared with some leaders. So that we sharpen one another for the sake of the marketplace and the kingdom business. Say amen. Oh yeah, say a better amen. Number three. So, you need to sharpen. Go back to school. Sharpen your skills. Read books. Watch any pause up of tab. Muliski statements are money. Okta feature kit on a feature hobby. Okta feature more Africa. Kit on a feature hobby. Me, 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 see how Africa. She knows. To now go on another nest, I'll be a vitab. My books are all over the place. I read. Let me ask. Oh, talk to your neighbor. Ask them. Dr. Gerard, you need to pull. I'm going to victim. Get a neighbor first. That's the first instruction. Steve, I uh, mean, is Peter. Can I carry? Tafuta mutu wapu, Morris. Tafuta mutu. Muulize, eh. Kitabi ya mwisho ulunua pesa ngapi. of God. Do you know the writer? Pauline, Kiari, I'm going The promise? The promises of God. Tutakutana Tuesday, Nijio, Mafikisha, chapter what? Let me say this to parents who are here, and even the young people who are coming. In the next 20 years to come, the only inheritance you'll give your children is books. Did you hear what I said? Is books. Mimi nilinua kitabu on Thursday. 400 shillings. By a man called Femi Reyes. Wartime parenting. So when I speak here, I said in a bigger story upon. What did your neighbor tell you? Think about it. Kuna watu kwao nyumbani. Ukienda kwa jikoni kwa store. Gazeti imefika hivi kutoka chini. Gazeti. Hawana kitabu. Number four. Number three. The, their faces were like faces like of lions. That's what it says. Faces like of lions. Walikuwa na sura ya simba. Ufano wa simba. When you see a lion, what do you see quickly? You see courage, am I right? You see power. When you see a lion, what do you see? Something powerful. Strength, am I right? Yeah. Rongai people are used to lions, so we understand. Leadership, stamina, Steadiness, focus. A lion, this army, their faces were like faces of lions. I want to prophesy, when you get into the marketplace where you work, you appear because the, you are so anointed. Your gift is flowing with the spirit of God. When people see you, they ask you, what has happened to your face? You tell them, this is the face of a lion you're seeing. Yet you are anointed. Of course, it's one evil, but you say, I am just know that something unique is happening in you. May you walk with that face in the marketplace and bring change. And bring change. Now, by the way, Paul, Nataka Kwanza Kutembelea Washirika Kumakazi Zao. 
Nimekaa sana sijaendanga. Sija Morris nikustue tu pale bank. Eh? Huko. Sunia ndikuje. Nialike. Nataka kukupata kazini. Bila wewe kujua ninakuja. Eh? Si mnajua mahali BTN iko. Nasema tu mimi naitwa fulani. Mimi naitwa Pastor Joshua. Mkuja kuona nani? Mkuja kuona ndugu Kiarie. Nasema ndugu anatusumbuaga hapa. Huyu ndugu anatusumbuaga. Umemuita ndugu. Faces of lion. What description? How do people describe you as a person in the marketplace? Number four. The Bible says, and I love this. This, this is really me. Swift as gazelles on the mountain. Swift as gazelle, not on a flat area. Uh -uh. Not on a downhill, but up on the mountain. Ah, speed. Acceleration. Oh, through your ability, may the Lord give you acceleration in the marketplace in Jesus name I said may the Lord give you the spirit of acceleration that you will pass some people who don't know how you pass them because that you are anointed you are activating your abilities that God gave you updated wana wamechanuka wanajua vitu speed a gazelle they, they are sharp to know to spot a lion and a cheetah they are updated. Ah, hapa kanisani usiku unabaki nyuma hujui chochote. We hujui. We ask you right now, how much is a dollar exchanging for? You don't know. Not a member of this church. Eh? Siuliza jirani, dollar na changing ngapi sasa hii? Atakwambia 120. Hiyo ni 3 years ago. <laughs> you are current. You know about the world market. What is happening in the body of Christ, in our nation, in the government? What is happening? You are prompt. Prompt means you are able to take up opportunities fast. Jamani, with your ability, may your opportunities not pass by you. Ah, oh, you didn't hear what I said. May your opportunities not, not pass by you using your ability. They just speak you because you're good in it. Stewards of time. Gazelles. Stewards of time. How apotezi wakat. Yeah? One of the things that I told you this is my line. Hapa. I cross with people, seriously, who are time wasters. You all, of, all of you know that. You don't come late to my meetings. If I know, that's a different case. There's a lady in Lenana. She's in the kitchen. She's called Margaret. Anytime there is a meeting and she knows, in Kutano, Uko, Namini Kwa Parongai, Imepango Nanani, Pastor Joshua, and I say, wow, 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 wow. If it is 7.30, he will be here at 7.28. And everything must be ready. So she tells me, Pastor, the first days when, you, when she joined the church to work, she used to fear me, seriously. Because any delay, <laughs> I would be in our case. Now, she told me, Pastor, thank you so much. You have helped me to be managing my time. I am never late in my church doing her things like that. There are people who, when they are late, it doesn't bother them. Please, to Sukutan. Umengem Kutanangu late. Swift as gazelles. You know yourself. You missed an interview because of the Chalewa. What is your name? Mamba Kuja Kansa to Machelewa. Yes, Tonga Leo. Bonus view. Lakini ujumbe imefika. Amen. Swift as gazelles on the mountain top is a spirit of innovation. Spirit of innovation. 
innovate. Let me give you a last story. There's a doctor in Florida. He's called Dr. Ch Chauncey Cradle. You can check. Dr. Chauncey Cradle. I forgot to give you the name. But he's a heart surgeon. Is that what they're called? He's a heart surgeon. Yeah. More to that, he's an anointed preacher. Anointed preacher. God has used him twice to bring people who are dead back to life by praying for them, not through heart surgery. Oh, how is God using you in the marketplace? In the first place, people don't know you're saved until I visit. And I say, this man is my member. What impact are you bringing in the marketplace? The man, God has blessed him greatly. He's a billionaire, not for really uh, the miracle, but top world billionaires only look for Dr. Chowns and Credo for heart surgeries. They pay anything to be operated only by him because they know apart from being a heart surgeon he's also a man who prays for people to be, to be, to be, to be healed from heart diseases. I want to challenge you. Please listen to me. I want to challenge you. Now watch a kuwa naima was watch it when you malize to najua time imenda. Kusema, oh, mimi najua biashara yangu iko chini. Listen to me. You could be hawking stuff. Unazungusha mali. When you use your anointing, the ability you can make money. Money We must impact the marketplace with anointed gifts, anointed abilities, anointed skills that God has given to us. Between a church and a hospital, where will a Muslim go? In hospital. So, between the pastor and the nurse, who is a member of this church, who has the highest opportunity to reach out to people for Jesus? Think about that. More people go to the bank every day than those who come to church you're a teacher, you encounter hundreds of students every day, Monday to Friday, more than a pastor. You should use your ability to bring people to Jesus in the marketplace. That's why Mariga alipokuja kwangu kuniambia ampata kazi, nilimuachilia haraka. Enda. Because that's where you need to meet people who might never step in church. Am I right? Lakini kazi yetu ni kujificha. Watu asijue nimeokoka. Study shows that an average person an average mtu wa kadri mtu wa kawaida possesses 500 to 700 different skills and abilities. Wewe unajua ngapi zako? You keep asking, Pastor, what is my ability? What is your ability? Number two, think of this. Your brain can store your brain. That's an ability God has given everyone. Can store a hundred trillion facts. The brain. A hundred trillion facts. Your mind can handle 
thousand decisions in a second not in a day in a second 15,000 decisions in a second proven what about my study neurology Ah, yeah. Your nose. Everybody touch your nose. At least everybody has a nose. Can smell up to 10,000 different smells. See how unique and special you are before God. Friends, you have no room to dislike yourself they, it's, it is not allowable for you to disgrace yourself hakuna nafasi ya kujidharau hakuna because God has made you so amazingly for his own purpose for his own purpose. Wow, today I've really pushed. For his own purpose. Next Sunday, we'll talk about personality. That would be amazing. You must come. You must come. Hey. That one I'll show you in the scripture. Different personalities. I want you to bow down your head and think about yourself. Mahali umefika. Mahali uko kiwango ambao uko sasa. Nini nakuzuia kuinuka? What is hindering you to discover your pathway that God has created you? If you were created Ah, shata kasita la kaya. To get into business, you know your hands. I don't struggle to put together events because God has, has given me that gift. I can intuitively tell you that event will succeed or fail. What has hindered you to arise? Today, connect with God who has given you all those gifts your spiritual gift, your heart, and your abilities. He wants you to partner with him so that when he comes down, he enjoys your gifts. <laughs> I see people here. God begin to move you far to places you never thought because you have begun to work on your ability. You have begun to polish it. You are working on it. Doors are beginning to open. The Bible says that your gift will bring you before great men. I prophesy let it be you in Jesus mighty name. When you work on your skill you are ready for Kairos moment. You are ready for that opportunity. But if you don't polish your skill, you're good in making cakes and you just do it afasadly. You don't study, you don't go farther to see how to do it more nicely. You complain business is low. You're losing time and opportunity. Raise up your hand to God and just tell him, help me Lord. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord. Even I as Joshua, I need to work on things. I need to improve on my voice quality. I need to improve, polish my oratory. I need to polish on my abilities to speak. I need to work on my abilities to administrate, to lead. Because I know that God, you are put, put, 
put me, Lord, as gift of leadership. I pray in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, even, Lord, to do other things in Jesus' name, to inspire people, to encourage people. I pray that God help me to polish it. May that be your prayer today. In Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. Father, thank you this morning for your word. It begins to bring impact in our life. All of us, you have positioned us in the marketplace. Some of us are in the finance, in the law, in technology, building construction, government. It was not just falling into a place of work. God has taken you there. God has elevated you that you can maximally use your shape, spiritual gift, your heart, and your ability to expand the kingdom of God in the marketplace. And so I send your people out into the marketplace under the spirit of God in Jesus name. May they operate under the Spirit of, the, of God, just like Bezalel. May they operate under the wisdom. Give them wisdom in Jesus' name to prevail. Give us wisdom and understanding to progress and advance in Jesus' name. Oh, give us, Lord, knowledge to know how to become good in that which God has given us. And even all manner of workmanships put together so that God can be glorified in the world and in nations. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Give the Lord a hand and appreciate it. Amen. Let's just find out. Close your eyes before you take your seat. You came here, you're not born again. Where would you have your You've never given your life to Christ. To begin to walk in what I'm talking about, you must reconcile with God first. Someone like that? All right. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for your people. They are blessed in Jesus' name, I pray.